from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for June 2024. So on June 6, we are going to have our new moon taking place in Gemini energy. We're going to see the new moon peak at 8.38 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and it's going to be popping off at 16 degrees, 18 minutes. So first of all, I am going to recommend that you tap into all of the different resources out there for this particular moon event, meaning take a listen to your June energy forecast. Take a listen to your zodiac forecast for the month. There is a whole new moon guide episode that you could be joining in order to do some shadow work, really unpack what this new moon in Gemini is all about. And of course, there is the Gemini season e-guide that features this new moon in Gemini, really capturing the shift in the mental plane that, of course, is expected to take place with all of these challenging thoughts, challenging information and details coming in, looking to open up our mind and therefore pivot on a new path into a new direction. There's a lot going on. I definitely recommend that you get informed and that you stay ahead of the game. We are going to experience a lot of division, a lot of confusion, a lot of situations and circumstances where communication conversation isn't working so well, where things are gonna pop off, trigger and activate us to realize what it is that we no longer want, what we no longer wanna experience, what we no longer wanna pursue, and in turn, again, in true Gemini divisional energy, we are going to see one choice point, one path, one direction become more favorable through the process of elimination. Gemini season is a mutable sign, meaning it's time to change, time to be flexible, time to adapt to information, situations, circumstances that are pressing, pressurizing us to grow, to evolve, to do better. Now, of course, in true Gemini fashion, a lot of pressure on the headspace, a lot of challenging perspectives, information coming at us in order for us to see where it is that we're too fixated on continuing to believe certain, let's call them ideas, thoughts, opinions, where it is that we're being challenged to expand, to open up our mind, to see things from a different set of eyes, a different perspective, a different light. This is our, I'm going to say, ability to take in information and formulate a new idea, even though it may challenge what it is that we thought we knew. This is really going to be a time where, again, the choice points are very polarized, very extreme. The whole point is to find that common middle ground. This is definitely going to create a lot of nervous energy. We have a lot of air energy popping off in the cosmos. Again, take a look at that elemental energy profile. We have six air aspects, and this is quite a change from all of the dominant Earth Moon events that we've been having as of late. So this is why there is a lot of head pressure, why there is a lot of going to say nervous energy, anxiety, anticipation. There is a lot of confusion, a lot of communication breakdowns feeling very Mercury retrograde-ish as of late. And again, all of this is really pushing the boundaries of our mental plane. This is creating a little bit of tension, a little bit of conflict in order for in a very important pivot point to actually present itself as we kind of, again, get a vision, a goal, a dream of what it is that we would like to do, what it is that we'd like to pursue from here. And Take the initial steps, starting with the changes that need to take place in the mental plane, then taking place in the heart space, getting the heart and the head in alignment before we can engage the physical body to take action and make moves in the external realm. This is the halfway point of a cycle that began about a year ago. This is something that we are going to find ourselves continuously pursuing and working on and refining as we move into this next year chapter. And the moon in Gemini is definitely pushing us into a situation to use our voice a little bit more. Again, communication is key. Conversations need to be had in order to trigger those light bulb moments that really inspire us to try something new, to research and explore new topics, new themes, to really challenge us to communicate in different ways, to again, portray what it is that we want, we need, we desire. This is a challenging time for relationships. And a lot of that is due to Venus, not only being in Gemini energy, but just having her star point and being part of the trio 
underneath this new moon that is creating a very important aspect, a stellium, if you will, in this Gemini energy. Again, if all of those astrological details kind of pique your interest, I would really recommend that you jump over and you reserve yourself a spot for this new moon in Gemini's moon guide episode. We have about an hour and a half of information to unpack, and it's definitely going to help kind of decipher where this is taking place in your chart, how it's impacting your life, what you're supposed to be learning from this particular energy, and how to stay ahead of the game so that your head does not explode. Anywho, there are a lot of very positive aspects popping off to really open up our eyes to see ourselves in the world around us from a different light. Yes, there are some challenging aspects as well. Shout out to Mr. Saturn, the Lord of Karma for that. Pluto and Mars, I'm looking at you too. However, there's new blockages, new challenges arising that's going to slow us down so that we don't take the wave of information coming in and think that that is legit and that's all that there is to know and then take action upon it. There's more information coming in. We will not arrive at our, let's call it destination point of choice, decisions, paths, and directions until the end of Gemini season. The blockages, the pause button is being pressed by Mr. Saturn in order for us to take a lay of the land, to give us some time to process this new information, these new insights, this new perspective before this next wave of information actually comes in and hits us. If we were to take action and make moves on this present moment, on this present perspective and the information that we have to work with, we would actually be making a lot of moves in the wrong direction. As much as you think that you're informed about your options and opportunities at this present moment, thankfully Saturn is here to kind of pump the brakes, give us this opportunity to just be a little bit more patient and wait for this next wave of information to come in and change our minds putting us on the path that is of alignment with our higher self, with our new mission, with this new potential. Again, some very important energies popping off under the peak of this new moon in Gemini that is totally going to change the game.